Pluto made them come from the beginning. It was like it was never a spot. Pluto's circle crosses that of another planet. That is no kind of lead for a planet. Pluto, once considered the tenth planet of our planetary gathering, was renamed as a Peewee planet generally on account of its outstanding circle, which diverges altogether from the ordinary methods of the critical planets. Despite its diminished status, Pluto remains a subject of interest and a mass in the cosmic nearby region. Later assumptions by leading specialists have included the potential risk presented by Pluto's heading, which brings it hazardously close to Neptune's circle. This warn sounded by astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku suggests a possible circumstance wherein Pluto and Neptune could influence, posing a significant risk to Earth and other heavenly bodies in our solar system. Pluto's circle around the Sun is described by its unique properties. Unlike the modestly round circles of the critical planets, Pluto's path is significantly round, meaning it varies significantly in distance from the Sun all through its circle. Also, Pluto's circle is inclined at a place of 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, further distinguishing it from the circles of other planets. Disregarding the crossing methods of Pluto and Neptune, a crash has not occurred up to this point. This is expected to the gravitational effects applied by various planets in the planetary gathering, which helped with settling Pluto's circle and forestalling shocking accidents. The examination of Pluto's circle has revealed unique, fascinating characteristics, including Azimu libration, scope libration, and the VZK faltering. Azimu libration insinuates the spatial segment among Pluto and Neptune when Pluto crosses Neptune's circle, ensuring a minimum distance between the two bodies. Scope libration incorporates the vertical advancement of Pluto relative to the orbital plane of Neptune, giving an additional layer of confirmation against crashes. The VZK influencing, named after the specialists von Zyall LV and Kai, describes the gravitational interactions between Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, influencing their independent circles. While Pluto's circle shows stability over the course of short period scales, Numerical entertainments have revealed its turbulent nature over an extensive stretch of time. Minor deviations in start conditions can prompt enormous contrasts in Pluto's circle, highlighting the hardships of expecting long-haul wonderful components. Taking everything into account, the examination of Pluto's circle offers significant insights into the complexities of space mechanics and the correspondences between divine bodies in our planetary gathering. By grasping these elements, Stargazers can more readily get a handle on the past, present, and fate of Pluto, as well as other distant universes and stars. The phenomenal properties of Pluto's circle have been found to stay aware of trustworthiness over impossibly extended timescales, effectively keeping Jumble at bay. Straight progressing virtual encounters have revealed insight into how the gravitational effects of the gas beasts like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn play a crucial work in shaping Pluto's course around the Sun particularly Neptune's gravitational power, spreads out an uncommon resonance with Pluto, ensuring a consistent way. Jupiter's gravity, in addition, contributes significantly to staying aware of Pluto's circle, with Saturn providing additional assistance. To conclude, sorting out these characteristics is critical for keeping the control and consistency of heavenly advancements within the universe. Without the gravitational frameworks applied by the gas beasts, the close-by planet bunch would be undeniably more fierce, and eccentric bodies like Pluto could crash into other heavenly things or be shot from their consistent circles, setting off a wave influence across the entire planetary gathering. The example of Pluto highlights the importance of getting a handle on the unique nature of the planetary bunch. Despite beginning weaknesses and discussions about its trustworthiness, relentless insight and study have revealed how Pluto achieves amicability through the marvelous connection of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. This highlights the need for advancing investigation to extend how we could interpret our spot in the universe. Pluto's circle serves as an ideal representation of the capricious nature of divine bodies, showing the possibility of orbital confusion, where even slight assortments in beginning circumstances can prompt tremendously unique long-stretch results. Automatic encounters have been instrumental in interpreting Pluto's improvements displaying how minor changes can fundamentally change its direction over incredible numerous years. No matter what, the unmistakable disturbance Pluto's circle keeps a great sufficiency over billions of years, appearing in fundamental demand amidst clear issues. Assuming boundless events, 
particularly those involving wild circles like Pluto present colossal troubles due to the inborn whim of these systems. Numerical reenactments offer huge insights into what's in store methods of grand bodies yet, in expansion, highlight the limitations of our present capacities, as they rely on accurate starting conditions and complex affiliations. Also, Pluto's fierce circle highlights the continually developing and dynamic nature of the universe, reminding us of the limitations of our current understanding. While critical progression has been made in loosening up the mysteries of room, the example of Pluto fills in as a bringing down indication of the amount we as of now really can't track down. Neil deGrasse Tyson's perspective on Pluto's adventure encapsulates the ceaseless improvement of how we could interpret the planetary bunch. His contributions, both in coherent investigation and public responsibility, offer critical insights into the complexities of grand mechanics and mankind's driving forward through interest in the universe. Tyson's perspective on Pluto's renaming reflects a more extensive understanding of our sunlight-based system's complexity and advancement. He sees the renaming not as a downgrade, but as a critical change to our developing knowledge of the divine bodies surrounding our child. Tyson advocates for a relentless course of learning and change in our perception of heavenly mechanics, seeing that idiosyncrasies like Pluto's circle go about as a badge of the colossal obscure territories of room. He believes that the interest in these questions makes cosmology so fascinating. Other than Tyson sorts out the importance of space events and exposures in securing out in the open interest in cosmology. He witnesses events like Pluto's renaming and its circle's peculiarities as opportunities to begin general society's creative mind and interest in the universe. By looking at the dynamic and sometimes unreasonable nature of space mechanics, Tyson means to develop a more significant appreciation for the supernatural occurrences and secrets of the universe among the in-general populace. Alongside his work as a science communicator, Tyson, alongside various scientists, has raised concerns over the conceivable gamble presented by Pluto's irregular circle. Later extensive stretches of study, Tyson cautions that the three-body issue, including Pluto and this conceivable accident with Neptune, is a veritable concern. He highlights that such an accident would be able to upset the delicate balance of the universe and have shocking results, potentially impacting Earth and other divine bodies. Michio Kaku, esteemed for his work in speculative material science and string theory, offers a standout perspective on the conversation encompassing Pluto's circle. He sees the examination of Pluto and its circle as instrumental in shaping the possible destiny of room examination. Kaku acknowledges that understanding the gravitational associations and orbital components of grand bodies like Pluto can give critical insights for future space missions, assisting with course danger gauge and arranging missions to the outside compasses of the nearby planet bunch and past. Kaku frequently looks at the significant relationship between divine mechanics and speculative material science, highlighting peculiarities like the gravitational dance among Pluto and Neptune. He sees these events as not isolated events but significantly related to the fundamental norms of material science. His work in string theory hopes to make sense of these principles and not any more fundamental level. He proposes focusing on divine mechanics can offer insights into the secret laws of the universe. Both Tyson and Kaku KY significant perspectives to the discussion encompassing Pluto's circle and its ideas for our cognizance of the universe. Their experiences highlight the interdisciplinary nature of space science and feature the importance of consistent examination and focus on in unraveling the secrets of room. The possible effect among Pluto and Neptune offers something other than a colossal divine event. It presents a unique opportunity to test the assumptions of string speculation, particularly those associated with gravity in spacetime. The gravitational waves made by such an accident could convey imprints or anomalies that by the equivalent token line up with or challenge the assumptions of string theory. While the quick impact on Earth would be irrelevant because of our separation from the outside adjacent planet bunch, the consistent implications of such an event could be huge. They could contribute fundamentally to how we may interpret the significant thought of the universe as depicted by string speculation and different areas of speculative physical science. Pluto's circle fills in as an essential delineation of sublime mechanics, in actuality, displaying both trustworthiness and disarray within our planetary gathering. Its extraordinary quality,